two, one. Alright. <coughs> I need a fucking charger. Hey, hey, uh, Mr. Buddy Kitty here. I kinda need this. Excuse me. I guess, sir. Alright. <coughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're back to play Game of Thrones. Previous episode should happen. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Especially now we're in the middle of the right now. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. <coughs> Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errol's Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. <coughs> and finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. Sure this one's the Bolton. Oh, that's a fucking douchebag. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. <coughs> what? <coughs> Snow. See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. <coughs> if it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? I got nothing to say to you. Now get out of my sight. And will you make me? That's enough, both of you. <coughs> I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Ugh. <coughs> oh. I almost forgot about that dude. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister. I mean, Cersei want to punish you. It never should have affected me like this. Sarah, this has nothing to do with me. The only reason we're down here is so Cersei can shame Lady Marjorie. We're just pawns in their game. <coughs> so, what gave you the idea that you could play? I hope whatever you got from Tyrion was worth it. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for she was talking about who she could replace you with. I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. She knows it wasn't my fault. Tyrion approached us. Look, you once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. <coughs> Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. <coughs> Before he disappeared. Oh there were shit. Few questions to ask you. Alright, ask me, dude. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Oh. Seven hells. 
You there, girl. <coughs> I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgrim. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. That's right. You got denied twice, bro. Fuck that in my face. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a character that had armor like that. Looks kind of cool. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. <coughs> no need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an Ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. That Ironwood was stolen from my family. It was never yours to sell. You've spoken with strength, my lady. <coughs> But still, I wonder if you're ready to play this game. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no <coughs> I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? There's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Uh... Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? <clears throat> Control the price of ironwood together. Uh. We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to my white girl? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch it! Don't touch it! What's happening? Yo! He's getting fucking handcuffed and shit, what? <coughs> what happened? Oh. Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. Shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. <coughs> Damn it. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. <coughs> oh shit, they're pointing. <coughs> Damn it. Oh. Are we just fucking breaking? Nobody. Not, not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, <clears throat> I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do?
have an idea. The terrace. The what? Maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where. <coughs> Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really I need know, your help. I know, I don't know if I, I want this. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. He's gonna hurt himself. Wait, Heath. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? Fuck off. You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Somehow I, I want you to I'm not fuck going off. to ask you again. <coughs> Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once. In the name of the king! Oh, the knife! I fucking have the knife! You! Don't move! Fuck you! Use the knife, dude! Use the knife! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Tom, we have to hurry. <clears throat> I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree! Well, Use go on! Knife. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Talk! You Fuck. can do this. Pull the knife out. You could have stabbed him. What were you doing? What the what the hell, dude? My choice does not matter again. Desk. There's the desk. Then there's a bunch of papers over here. He said that it would be on his desk. Oh, there's a stamp thing. Shit. Fuck. Mira, we're running out Bad of time. Parchment. Parchment. Nothing. A letter from <laughs> Why didn't you use the knife? Come on. Another bloody letter. Uh, well, there's this. But I don't have a key. It must be in here. Take the box. I think the Lannister guard is back. Look the other one. Damn it! Hide. I find a way to destroy them. <clears throat> Hide in what, dude? In what? What is even over here? I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll <coughs> find them. And after. <coughs> that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lock boxes, eh? <laughs> right. The fucking keys were on the desk the whole time. I didn't even see them. I looked. I was looking for a key, dude. That was not there. Help! Move. Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! Grab the fucking keys, open the box, get out. Lock the door. You did it. How Why are you leaving the door the open, dude? Down the hall. I'll put you a minute, maybe two. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Did you find it? It's in the box, probably. It has to be in here. It has to be. Open it. Oh. Come on. <gasps> it worked. Is this? Oh, thank the. Gods. That's it. Oh, I found it. Finally. Get out, 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 get out. What are you waiting for a goal. I catch the bastard who. Oh, bring their bloody neck. Damn, that felt that felt like just a bunch of bo bunch of bogus right there. Bunch of bogus. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, buddy. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? <coughs> Our ironwood trees. It's the Whitehills. <coughs> you see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Aye. The Whitehills need to answer for this. Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be yeah. over there. Be cautious, Milan. 
If she go around her father towns, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. <coughs> you see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. <clears throat> oh, I don't think she'd be in a well. Or in a fallen tree. There's an axe. Uh, we should take the axe. Grab that shit. Well, he's just. I see that you have lost like your warrior's him. ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, <coughs> Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. Yep. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Damn your father. He's laid waste to this land. My land. I'll have my vengeance for this. I brought you here so that you would see what's happening. So there's no need to make threats against my father. I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Thank you for paying uh, respects to my father. I feel betrayal coming here. I feel that. It's good Nothing to see about this feels good. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first... <coughs> I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironwath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No well, more bloodshed. They tried to keep the peace and your family keep fucking killing to? our people. I need to hear you say it, Waldrick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? If you think we'll come, <coughs> you're dead wrong. You don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless <coughs> you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes. That's what I have to do. It is. My lord! Band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me, who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. <clears throat> even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. Yeah. Lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. 
Lord. Come along, Duncan. So we got ourselves a traitor. Nice. Ooh. What the fuck? This place is a mess. Oh. <laughs> cause, uh, cause that dude came in here. So yeah, that's why that's not keeping the peace at all. They're being an asshole just because they think they can. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here, to hold this house together. Mother, I... I believe we have an ally in House Whiter. And I've learned we face grave dangers. But... what... What did this ally tell you? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't <coughs> know his plans. I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? The thought of it makes me ill. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? We got ourselves you got need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. <coughs> this can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. Oh, God. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard. But I never mm. thought this would happen. Not an hour. Maybe house. Duncan, I don't know. I have to say, Duncan worries me the most. Yeah, I, have, the I didn't elect him as... But what about Royland? Royland? Or Maester Ortengren. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there! Go get in there! Get in there! What do you want from me? Ramsey was over there. And Ramsey was here. I'll play it how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, Lord oh, Ramsay. It'd be so much more fun if you fall back. Now, give me a wood, boy. Oh, I heard tales of your cruelty, Lord Ramsay. But in my short life, I've never seen such a foul care. Words. Aye, you're brave, but you're too tall. No, 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 that's not worse. Now get down there and die like a good little lord. Wait. Don't forget to go! That's right! <laughs> Shut your mouths! And stop this at once! Oh, look here! <coughs> it's the new lord! You're in luck! We're just getting to the best part! <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath! Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead! You can't do what this! Fuck? You can't do this! Get out of our house! Right now! <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. Oh, I know you've seen it before. Show some respect <laughs> in my house. In my home. Well, that's what we're doing. Remembering young Ethan as he was. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, you guys are good at acting. <laughs> I'll give you that. Oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, are you going to use that as a weapon? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> This ends now. It's over. Right, Make his that's mother it. watch. No more now we we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will do. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And you'll regret what you've done here. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick. Roderick. Now is not the time. I don't care. I felt great. <laughs> I like that choice. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Bow! The same fucking glass he drank out of. Oh, we got ourselves a phone call. I'm not picking it up, though. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff. Make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Gary. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been yeah, looking for volunteers. Taste fun. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit took him too. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. Fuck that. I understand George. why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. You don't want a man like Brit helping you. He's a murderer. Wouldn't be the first at Castle Black. Where I'm going, I need a man who knows <coughs> how to kill. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I'm sorry. I can't promise you that. I understand. I'd say the same if you asked me to swear allegiance to a bloody fray. If you're willing to come, just stay out of each other's way. Aye. <coughs> it's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well, make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, John Snow Hey sir. buddies. I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. <coughs> well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrow this from you. <laughs> what? A dickhead? So curious. Oh, I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Oh, didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. <coughs> I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it to Witch's Den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. Lord Forrester knew all about it. He said it's a place of great power. Power that can save my house. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might <coughs> have some brains, Garrett. We do deserve each other. 
Have fun chasing your tails. Hey, come back here, bud. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. Just things I hear around Castle Black's all. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. side of the wall, got it. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the three folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other three folk. We were looking for weapons, south <coughs> of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and... Well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... <coughs> we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Would you look at the size of this army? Seems the Targaryen guild may take the city soon enough. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You're right. No, it fucking hurts, Asha. And I've been through shit. Sliced, stabbed, beaten, had my face clawed off. But this bloody dragon. Well, at least you don't smell half as bad as you did a day ago. I'll go and find this Croft. Look, Asha. Back in that cave. What happened? It was him or me, right? You must have thought only one of us was making it out. It's not fair to ask. I know. It's fucking brutal. There was no time to think. My uncle was just the one closest. Right. Fuck. I just... I thought... Forget it. Doesn't matter. This is stupid. Beska, you know I'll always have your back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's horse shit, little brother. You're going home. I understand. Your house, your family, 
But there's nothing for me with you in this <clears throat> I'll help you get your army, and then I'm done. Bestia! I, I don't Asha. understand. I know where Croft is. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. <coughs> Great friends. Asha fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy <laughs> whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. <sighs> you get it out of your system? Not by half. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forget <coughs> you. Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. <laughs> hey, a hey, man hey! Raise my trust. There's a price. Stop this! Let him go! Enough! You fucking bastard! Take a hand. I can always kill you with the other. Done. Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pays good coin. We can pay. <coughs> I always knew your pockets were lined some gold. And I will happily take you from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. Oh, no. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> I'm fucking like <laughs> You expect me to believe you <coughs> just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head. Scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. You two back in my life. Best go. Show him. <coughs> A dragon did that. So you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your No, oh, I knew I should have showed the teeth. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, I'll take a lot more than your hand. Fair enough. Come on, you <coughs> son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. <coughs> Time to hear about him right away. And you don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Fuck! <coughs> wow! Fuck! I can't fucking get that out of my throat. Whatever, dude. I'm over it. Big day tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're 
too busy looking for your north road. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. Is yeah, something that is true. off about him? Aside from him being an oily thief on me. Like he's holding something back. Wouldn't hurt to keep an eye on him. Don't need to tell me that. He steals my knife, then your stuff. I'm not sure I want him walking behind me while we're out there. <coughs> Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mans Raider is gonna wait for them? Right! Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Wait, I just saw this something. We haven't really played around with that mirror chick in a while. The last thing I remember wasn't that like a bad situation right there. <coughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's iron wood for sure. See anything else? This must hold up the lift. <coughs> they fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. Sparing the lives of everyone who does him wrong. <coughs> so he admits he's doing it to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. <coughs> we sliced the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out. Garrett, Garrett. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. All right. <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. You're going to die for what you did. Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. <laughs> Let's see if you scream. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, dude! Oh, it's about fucking time we got to this dude. I've been waiting to kill him. You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Take your sword. When you die, you'll know you weren't good enough. So noble, you fucking cunt. Fuck. Oh! Yeah! 
how is fucking heading? Get off. He's fucked. Oh, he's got a spear now? Great. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Right. Oh. That's not a mercy you deserve. Yes. Yes, dude. No, come on, man. We're brothers. You can't do this. No! Fuck! Fuck! Of course. Of course, dude. Of course. You can't ever kill anyone without getting your ass fucking nipped for it. Damn it. I forgot. I forgot about These that telltale bullshit. are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Forests. Out of the way! And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again, and this won't get better on its own. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. Better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our hands, <coughs> we must be wary. Come on, you. Let me go! You can't do this! Uh, we're go. not going through this. You're here. Look. <coughs> Look at this. Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me! I don't care if she's your sister. Fine. You brought her to me. I'll deal with her. That's not for you to decide. Fuck you. It is. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. <coughs> Your men are being shitbags. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Your men are out of control. That's the problem here. It's your people who don't know the order of things. This girl's as untamed as a wildling. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, well, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. You afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you What? Are? I'm not afraid! <laughs> I, I want order! But this house is in a shambles. Because you and fucking made it that way. At the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen! Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her station. <laughs> Fuck that. Hit him, dude. That's how I like to see you, Forrest. <laughs> oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. 
you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run <coughs> you through for that! I'll cut you down like straw men! Take him, Roiland! My bloody pleasure! No, 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 no! No, I'm gonna get him killed! I'll fucking kill you myself! No. Bad decision. Make him watch this. No. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. And I will. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! You think I'm going to fucking stay down? Fuck you. I will not yield. You <coughs> bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Shut <laughs> up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Yeah, well, we're older now. We're playing as a character who will kick your ass. Talia here will meet the same end. And an army's coming. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place <coughs> and stay down. Some forester is gonna learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Don't you dare! <laughs> you <stay> down. <laughs> no, man, stay down! You fuck you! Fuck you! This is my place! <laughs> you fool! I really shouldn't be doing this, but. <coughs> Dude! Oh, what? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! <coughs> oh, please, no! Not the arm! <coughs> if you persist, Lord Roger, you may lose it! <coughs> Stay down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? My lord, please, just Stay do it. Down. Stay down. Nah. These people pride themselves on dying, I but never giving you. up. Let him alone. So that's what I'm going to play him as. You. You should fear me. I'm in charge here! No. I alone rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick. You'll see. I will make you suffer for this. For what? Trust in that. <coughs> you really beat the shit out of him. Not really, oh, but hey, he's crippled, yeah, so it all hurt. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. Think I give a fuck? You know, at this point, it's all about Ryan. We get Ryan back or he dies. One of the two, doesn't matter. This fucking place is going. Fuck them, man. I want him dead. I want him dead so bad. Wow, I've never actually hated a character so much in a Telltale, like, universe. Except for that fucking dude. Those fucking White Hills, dude. They're fucking pricks. I've never actually hated somebody more in any of these gaming series than the fucking White Hills. Nobody in there. You see that? Nothing like that in The Walking Dead. Maybe Joan. Maybe Joan from The Walking Dead. Maybe. And I, that's maybe now. Maybe. That's maybe, dude. It's hardly you even the fucking the strength you showed. Us. You can't even compare them to me. You looked like yourself again. I couldn't just stand by and let grief punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'll do it again, a thousand times. I know you will. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not Shit, to change who he was. was. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. 
I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the iron wood. We are. All of us. What the hell? Oh, there it is. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, those would do oh, I almost thought I lost well. that thing there for a second. What you did? Broking Griff? It hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But it might no can know the future. And guess what? what? Tomorrow brings Talia. They're gonna do it anyway. Just like she said. I did it. I can't believe it. <clears throat> what are you waiting for? I can't. What? After everything, we just. I can't burn it. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. Huh. Um... Well... Yeah, it's the only episode three, dude. Nice, I really like this you episode Gallad? as well. Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you <coughs> hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to hype. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the pond, Stasha. Carry it. <coughs> it's time to go. <coughs> Let's see here. Now my choices actually pop up. About time. You and 49% saved Malcolm. Ah. Uh, who is Malcolm? I'm I'm trying to remember who is Malcolm. Like really, who is he? I don't remember. But whatever. Uh, you and 48.9 defied Margaery and spoke with Tyron. Tyrion? Uh, you? Wow. Not a lot of people did that one. I actually thought that would be a bigger lot like margarine there. You and 32.4% stood up to Griff Whitehill. I can see why. That was a bad decision, but hey, you got it. They, they don't want, you know, like, they're going to kill us anyways. You might as well, like, go out fighting. You and 70.3% kept the Ironwood, t Ironwood t t Tickree. Yeah, I don't see why you won. Alright, so that was episode three. Um, this one was almost two hours, actually. That's pretty... I actually like that. So, uh, yeah, this was a little bit of a longer episode. Um, actually, episode two and episode three, I love them both the same, dude. Like, they both actually have stuff going on. Before, like, episode one was just really slow-paced, and, like, there wasn't... I, I don't really remember playing that much as anyone except for Mira and Ethan, and the other guy, which was Tuttle. And now I feel like we're playing as, like, four di different characters. It's just n neat to go back and forth with all these characters and stuff, see how everything's progressing. Um... I don't really feel like there's a right decision in this game like most Telltale games they portray it as. There really isn't a right decision, it's just more or less like 
It's not as black and white as you think it is. Anyways, I really like this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.